Um, so, uh, MapBlock was founded by three scientists, Dennis Burton, myself, and Esper Callas. Probably in our careers, um, generated more than $300 million to do basic research. We then underwent an evolution later in our careers to think, okay, we're doing basic research, but we're really not helping anybody with this basic research. How can we get drugs and cures into the arms of patients. And I'd like to use dengue as an example of uh, what we're trying to do. So we formed a company so that we could generate the resources to actually make drugs that would make people's lives better. Many of you have had dengue uh, and you know what a terribly debilitating disease it is. Um, so. The problem is, is that none of the big farmers have invested in this area because it is uh, mainly present in resource-limited countries. But before the COVID epidemic, dengue infected more people than any other virus. It causes enormous suffering. So Esper and I uh, uh, and, and Dennis decided that we're going to make some antibodies so that you get sick, you get infected, we can inject you with this antibody, and then uh, it will stop the virus and will, will stop the suffering that occurs after infection with uh, dengue. The trouble is, how do we go to investors and say we want to make an antibody for people in the developing world? And the answer to, the short answer to that is, Guys, nice idea, but we're not going to give you any money. So along comes Pablo, and uh, with his radical ideas in terms of generating resources for these projects, um, we can now at least hope that we can start making a cure for dengue. We already have one for uh, yellow fever, but again, yellow fever affects very few people, although it's, it's fatal. And again, it's in developing countries. So I guess what I'd like to do is to thank Pablo and his entire team and all of the investors for their participation in our science adventure, which Dennis Burton, myself, Esper, and now Mike Riccardi, who's actually developed the braid technology himself. I can't take any credit for that at all. And, uh, and so we're about to embark on a really exciting new adventure to ameliorate suffering in developing countries in lots of people that get infected by these viruses. So I think I'll stop there and I'll hand it over to uh, Mike Riccardi, who has been with me now for 10 years, did a PhD in my lab, and is now essentially in charge of scientific development at MabLock and developed the braid technology almost single-handedly. So over to you, Mike. Thank you, everybody, for coming. Appreciate all the help. Um, this cause and what we're doing, I think, is incredibly important. Um, traditional methods of drug discovery are incredibly, incredibly expensive. Um, I think that there's a lot of ways we can improve upon this, and I think Pablo's brought to the table some of these mechanisms, uh, like fractionalization of IP, fractionalization of the company, to increase funding in these sources. Um, one of the things that we came up with at Mablock is this braid platform. And this platform is incredibly complex, so I'm not gonna bore you with details, but it's also incredibly simple. And, and one of the coolest things about it is that it's shown the ability to become and generate effective drugs against SARS-CoV-2, which is causing COVID. But not just that, we can plug and play other diseases like dengue, like yellow fever, like Zika, like a lot of other diseases that are coming that are circulating in animals. And as there's more deforestation, as there's more climate change, all these kinds of things put animals and people and other pathogens that you know, aren't currently circulating in closer proximity to one another. And with this platform, we can do drug discovery, at least the discovery phase, very cost efficiently. And so one of the things that Braid is doing and we're trying to do as a company is develop these drugs for diseases that are here today and ones that will be here tomorrow. 
So one of the things that we need to be proactive about is putting money forward, going into these disease areas that may not be affecting people today, but will be affecting people in the future. And I think that this is something that's so critical that you know, rather than being reactionary and always looking, oh, well, we should have done this, or oh, we should have done that, how about for a change we get in front of it and we do something before it becomes a problem? I think this is one of the key things that we're trying to do through Mablock, with Pablo's help, with Viral Cure, is to make effective drugs and therapies for these diseases. And some of them not only can cure these diseases, but actually can be given to prevent infection. This whole platform, I, I can't be more grateful, this, this vision, um, Dr. Watkins and I, we, we had many discussions about this BRAID platform and, and discovering drugs. And it wasn't until Pablo came along who, you know, believed in our vision, made it happen. And one of the things where, I don't know where Pablo is right now, he's over there, but this vial right here is the first drug that Mablock has put into production. This is ready for clinical trials, so I'd like to give this to Pablo, because without his help, this couldn't have been done, and, and it's just a, an incredible, an incredible feat. Vocês não fazem ideia do que significa. Isso aqui é de verdade a primeira dose que veio da Ushi, graças a, a Storm e todo mundo que apoiou, família leal. Isso é o resultado de 10 anos de muita gente que acreditou, muita, muita gente.